Google Assist gets a major AI upgrade, while other AI integrations with big tech court controversy. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. Today, we are kicking off with another update from Google that I think is extraordinarily emblematic of where we are. This is going to be a big theme for the main episode today, which is all about Canva's updates. But I think a lot of what you're seeing in the market right now is companies integrating AI practically into workflows that already exist among their consumers, rather than forcing them to try totally new experiences. So in this case, we're talking about Google's Assistant app, which is already quite popular, but which now has all of the benefits of Bard and generative AI. Ricardo Giraldi, one of the Googlers who worked on the project, writes, The result is a more intuitive experience with improved conversation, reasoning, and better integration with your phone and applications thanks to extensions. What he's referring to is the fact that Bard now plugs into all of Google's suite of workplace apps, such as Drive and Docs. Ricardo continues, You'll be able to use images, voice, and text to interact. On Android, it will be contextually aware and help you further by understanding what's on your screen. Ricardo sums up, This is another important step towards a more personal AI that can help you achieve what matters the most to you. Now, obviously, this is one of the great big prizes for both startups and big companies alike. The idea of an AI that is truly personalized to the user, that has context about them, that knows what they're trying to achieve at any given moment, and that can use all of that contextual knowledge in order to help people achieve their goals faster. These assistants, and eventually the AI agent tools that they morph into or get replaced by, are some of the biggest areas of development really across the full spectrum of people building in the artificial intelligence space. It's quite clear that this is in a very early experimental stage. On the company's announcement post, one of the examples they give is posting an image of someone's puppy to social media. They write, simply float the assistant with Bard overlay on top of your photo and ask it to write a social post for you. Assistant with Bard will use the image as a visual cue, understand the context, and help with what you need. This conversational overlay is a completely new way to interact with your phone. If you listen frequently to this show, you're going to hear so many of the themes that we keep discussing. Agents, personalization, new interfaces, new modalities of computing, all bundled up in what is on the face of it just an innocuous little announcement. Now, Computer World gets that the stakes are high for this type of announcement, especially when taken cumulatively with the larger battle that it is a part of. This morning they wrote, Bing, Bard updates Fuel AI Search War. Microsoft brings Dolly 3 into Bing AI lineup while Google adds Bard AI to Assistant, bringing generative artificial intelligence to a wider audience than ever. Now, what they're referring to is the fact that although some people had started to get access to Dolly 3 inside Bing last week. On Tuesday, the company announced that the model was now available to all Bing chat and all Bing image creator users. This is notable because, of course, even paying ChatGPT users, cough, cough me, don't have access to it through ChatGPT yet, but I can go use it through Bing. Now, in addition to just a new product release, Computer World also got the context that this is an increasingly important business competition. Remember, in the ongoing U.S. antitrust lawsuit against Google, Microsoft Satya Nadella was called to testify last week and admitted that even even powerful new AI technology was unlikely to be able to dethrone Google from the search leadership that it has held for two decades now. Now, of course, when any new AI tool rolls out, one of the first things that people do is try to break it, or more specifically, try to get past whatever safety guardrails it has in place. Kotaku published yesterday a piece called Microsoft Bing AI Generates Images of Kirby Doing 9-11. Humans keep blowing past AI generators guardrails, demonstrating how uncontrollable the technology can be. The point that the article makes is that although nominally we're Words and phrases like 9-11, Twin Towers, and terrorism are banned. When you write things like, Kirby sitting in the cockpit of a plane, flying toward two tall skyscrapers in New York City, then, well, you imagine what results you might get. Someone recently said that all AI creators and policymakers and tech companies need to assume whatever they release, that the first thing that humans will try to do is break it and do all of the things that they're not supposed to do with it. And that's pretty much the place where they have to be starting from when they think about how they design safety into these systems. Speaking of... One of Meta's big new AI announcements was that they were releasing AI-generated stickers for chats, but as Gizmodo writes, Meta's AI stickers are already causing trouble. Meta's new algorithm allows users to generate unsavory content involving weapons and nudity while blocking only certain explicit phrases. Professor Tom Oliva writes, Meta claims that their new AI experiences have built-in safeguards, so I tested out just how safe the new Instagram AI stickers really are. What I've found showed these tools aren't really safe at all. For example, Meta quite sensibly stops their tools creating a sticker for Child with a Gun, but Child with a Grenade not only makes stickers but generates cartoonish images of children holding guns. So does a general rifle sticker. And while words like nude and sexy are banned terms, a term as crass as Medusa, large breasts, not only generates stickers but the first set produces cartoonish nudity. 
So the point that he and later Gizmodo are making is that these safeguards aren't really safe at all. Meta is also dealing with some current blowback after it admitted to Reuters that it uses consumers' Instagram posts to train its AI. Basically, after Meta's new AI tools came out recently, Nick Clegg, who is its president of global affairs, told Reuters that, quote, the vast majority of the training data used to develop them came from publicly available posts, including on Facebook and Instagram. This is one of those things that I think everyone assumed, but even an assumption being confirmed can still generate controversy when it is confirmed. Now, in spite of all of that, of course, Meta is continuing to roll out all sorts of new AI tools, with the latest batch coming out yesterday being a set of generative AI tools for advertisers using its platforms. They began testing these tools back in May and are now going to be integrated into the site's ad manager suite. This involves things like image background creation as well as text generation. Now, another big tech company that is going all the way AI is LinkedIn. We talked about some of their new features yesterday, but today we're back with a report from LinkedIn that argues that artificial intelligence is likely going to cause even more skepticism of the already beleaguered four-year college degree. In a pitch made to more than 2,000 of the nation's top recruiters, LinkedIn says that employers are going to start needing to treat upskilling investments as a critical priority rather than just a perk. Said the company's Ryan Rolansky, AI is going to make it virtually impossible for a one-off moment of learning like a degree to last an entire career. Unusual Wales also tweeted a statistic from a study reported by the New York Times, saying the percentage of young adults who said that a college degree is very important has dropped to 41% from 74% over the last 10 years. In other words, less than half of young adults now say that a college degree is very important. That is a huge seismic shift, especially given how quick that change has happened. And as per that LinkedIn memo, I think that they're right to identify that AI is going to do nothing but accelerate that. However, that is where we will wrap for today. Lots of big trendy things going on in the world of artificial intelligence. So up next, the main AI breakdown. 